Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and uh, just thought I'd do a short video today. Um, I've got a piece of elm here which uh, I have actually turned the bottom um, and I've put a, a mortise in the bottom there um, to mount it up on the lathe. Um, it is still very thick at the moment so I'm going to take some of that thickness off when I shape the top. Um, but I wanted to do some paint effects on there and uh, perhaps uh, <coughs> try one or two different effects. So it may be that I'll do, do one um, and then skim it off and then try again. So this is really a practice piece. Um, hopefully I can get a finished piece out of it at some point. But um, just to give you an idea of some of the alternatives when it comes to using paint, stains uh, and other types of colour. So uh, I'll get this mounted up on the lathe and then we'll get underway. to be happy with that. Um, now I'm going to sand that down to 400 and, and then uh, we'll have a think about what we're going to do in terms of colouring on there. Okay I'm going to use my Charmwood bowl sander for this. Now I'm going to put some sanding sealer over that. Okay, so um, I've just cut a cardboard box to fit around there, cover my lathe bed uh, and to stop any splatter. Um, I'm just going to give this a, a coat of black ebonizing lacquer to start with and then uh, and just touch the middle, see if it's dry, it's almost dry. If you touch in the middle there, you're not going to leave finger marks on the outside where, where you don't want them. And we'll just leave that for a few more minutes and then we'll come back and put some colour on. Okay, so that's, uh, that's dried off now nicely. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try some uh, metallic acrylics on this. Um, these are not very expensive, they're, they're quite cheap um, and um, they're from Aldi so you get eight, uh, eight colours in there. Um, I have used them before, uh, I particularly like the, um, the silver and the um, purple they're very nice um, so I'm gonna start with those two and uh, we'll see how how we get on with them um, what I thought I'd do to start with and I'm not sure how this is going to work so it is an experiment I'm just going to put some blobs of that around this 
center ring here and then uh, I'm going to run the lathe fairly fast and get them to uh, a sort of a centrifugal um, effect so I'm hoping that they're going to spread out through through the piece um, we'll see how it goes we'll give it a try and um, if it doesn't work then we'll take it off and try again so we we'll think uh, we'll go with the uh, purple first I think and we'll put some of that on the on the pallet board and <clears throat> I'm not sure if I would be better putting some flow medium with this maybe but I'm going to try it straight out of the tube to start with and just get a small brush and we want some blobs of this around the piece we obviously want to Starting to come out, so that's good. I think we'll spin that one more time. Okay, so quite liking that effect at the moment. I think we're going to put some. I think we'll put some silver on now. The silver. Um, One more colour. I know copper is I'm not sure how that's gonna go with the, the other colours, but let's get some nice blobs of the copper on there. Well, it has spun out to a degree, but probably not as as much as I would have liked. Um, it may be that it, it did need some, you know, it wasn't too bad around here. Um, a little bit around here, it's okay. I think perhaps it wanted some flow medium with it, which would have probably helped. Uh, oh. There we go. Not brilliant, but Again, it is a little bit of an experiment, so uh, we'll just let that um, dry off and then uh, we'll put a coat of sealer on it just to see how it looks once the sealer's on.
so there we go um, as I say I've not put a finish over it I'd, I would lacquer it if I was going to um, keep this piece um, but I've, I've said on a couple of occasions it is just a practice so uh, yeah I think next time I'll put some flow medium with the paint um, and hopefully that will give it um, a better chance to uh, to spread out so uh, but yeah not too bad for the first one I'm going to clean this off and get it sanded up again and uh, get it get it ready and prepped up for the for the next one so mm -hmm.